Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Lago Grania on Pioneer Map. In this episode, we do the big harvest. So we harvest all three grain fields and put it into the mill. So fill up the mill. At the end of the video, you'll be able to see how much surplus we have stored in the silos, which we can use at a later date possibly sell when the price gets good well we started nice and early so the grain is still a little bit wet and oh, I've just been pulled over by the fellow at the mark at the market stall there he wanted to know if I had any soya beans to sell and I think I do we'll get that through to him later we'll also um, while we're waiting for the grain to dry off be due to dry off the grain in the morning we'll um, get this rake and we'll go and do a little bit of care on the grass field that we harvested in the last episode because the grass just needs to be raked up and tended a little bit to get a slightly better yield for the next season also at some time we'll need to just pop some lime onto it I think um, I'll check that out at a later stage today. So we'll get this going and then it's all about the harvest as they say. Right, we'll make up a headland and then, oh, before we do that, nearly, nearly forgot. I've got to get that uh, those soya beans down to the market stall. wonder what he's going to do with it. Don't have an awful lot, about 6,000 uh, litres. But uh, he's offered a good price, so we'll sell it to him. Yeah, well, nearly 7,000, yeah, so not too bad. Let's get this down to him and get it sold. Get a little bit more money into the coffers. Shouldn't be spending an awful lot of money. We'll uh, have to pay some wages because we'll get one of the locals to come up and uh, help with the work on the grass field while I do the harvesting right let's see what he's going to give us for this right here we go let's get that lifted out and tipped out yeah, so it's a uh, fourteen and a half thousand plus a nice little bit for the environment not to be scoffed at, we're up to 62k now. Let's get back to the farm, get that grass work done. I do like this rake. It's one of, at the moment, it's one of my um, allowed mods. Well, one of the mods that I have. I just think it looks so cool. It seems to do a nice job it's got a fair width right we'll get this headland going we'll put this all onto a time lapse and I'll do quite a bit I'll try and do this little this little section here this little sort of bottom of the L part of this field and uh, then we'll put a work onto it because the The grain field should be just about ready. I think we'll start with the barley field, the big barley field. Right, put this onto a time lapse. And we'll see you once it's done.
Well, welcome back. I've got this onto the worker now. So we'll pop down to the store and go and organize ourselves a harvester. So we're going to have to lease it. Can't afford to buy one yet. So something small but reasonably decent. So I'm thinking about these cases, but I think I'll go for the four wheel drive. Just a little bit more traction on those uphills. And we'll do a couple of adjustments. So we'll increase, we'll go to maximum power on this with 305 horsepower. And I think I will, yeah, I think I'll increase the length of the auger pipe because that, um, that uh, trailer of mine is fairly high sided. Yeah, so just in case we'll make that a so that uh, comes to 3,700 for pretty much the day. Get that sorted. We'll have to go and get a header now. I want to get something as big as I can. I might take a bit of a risk. Oh, I, I don't know whether I'll run the 45. Let's, yeah, we'll go with the 41 foot, I think. Uh, that's about 1,400, so it's not too bad. Right, so we'll get somebody from the store to just take this up to the... Oh, before I do anything else, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll better just get... Yeah, think about it, yeah. I'll, I think I'll put this onto a, onto a header trailer, because there's a couple of narrow spots, you know. Just getting out of time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a... We'll lease a, a header trailer. Head of trailer, and then uh, I'll ask one of the lads from the store to take that up to take the harvester up to the field, and then we'll uh, borrow the little John Deere Ute and uh, and tow the the header up there as well. Yeah, it's, uh, this is always a little bit of a tricky part getting this onto the. Uh, header trailer looks a bit small for this for this header but we'll see what happens drop it on it it's a bit, bit violent Let's see if it takes yeah it looks like it's taken it looks secure right so the youngster from the store will just park it there off he goes taking it up to the farm we've got this little John Deere ute type thing yeah uh, and uh, well, it's not really a ute, I suppose. It's more of a I'm not sure what it is. It's just a little run around. Hopefully, it's powerful enough to tow this up there. It should be. Store owner said it shouldn't be a problem. But those, of course, are always famous last words. So, cut up. Didn't lift or anything like that. That's okay. Let's see if it goes. Mm, uh, it's just about, yeah. Well, we're back at the farm now, so relatively uneventful. There's a bit of uh, air raising going through the Ford, but um, we managed. Let's park this up so that the so that I can get the harvester connected up with the least amount of fuss. it across here we should be okay uh, about there should be fine let's get out and go and check the start up the harvester and we can get going on this harvest fruits of our labor as they say so the uh, the owner of the mill has been crying out for some grains to mill. He's been surviving really on making oil from the sunflower from the allotments. So this should keep him happy for a while. Well, it's a bit, bit of a violent release there. Right, let's get going. 
very excited for this. It's going to be a big job. Most of it will be done on a time lapse. We'll try and sort of show you the deliveries to the mill and the and how much we really, how, I'm going to say how much. Hopefully there'll be some surplus that we can put into the silos that we can sell at a later date. I think it's only about December that the price is good, but and of course we can also save some. Well, we need to save some for the for the chickens. Right, start this up. Let's get going. Everything checking. All the hydraulics are fine. Yeah, everything looks good. Should be. It's just come from the store. Yep, off we go. Seems to be handling the header okay. Yes, we've got a nice 41 foot width. That should sort it all out. We've got swath going out, so we've got straw coming as well. That'll help with the cars and the TMR, padding out the TMR. Fantastic, like it. Right, we're back onto the time lapse and we'll catch you after we've. Well, I would think until. Uh, We'll catch you all as soon as we've filled up a trailer, I think. It might just be a ride at the end. We never know. Well, here, here we go. There's the first the first drop off already. Although it hasn't got a huge hasn't got a huge hopper. But in any case, we'll see you after the after this is done. Enjoy.
Well, that's just about done. We'll just go and add, or well, just fill up the trailer completely. It's only about 1%, it's not going to take much. And then we'll head up to the mill and go and offload this, go and fill up the mill. Of course, the baker is just chomping at the bit because he really hasn't had much flour to make any any bread of late, so he's actually been pretty quiet, he's just been servicing all these machines, getting ready for the big bake now. He does make um, some very very nice bread. Not sure how much it uh, takes but uh, we should have, I think it takes about 25,000. Of course there's still a bit in the, in the actual harvester hop at the moment so we'll just pick that up afterwards and then go and drop that all off in the uh, in the silo uh, so there's still 18,000 left and empty the harvester Just about done. How much are we gonna get? Uh, 20, just under twenty-three thousand. Put that into the silo. And then we'll get started on the wheat field. So we've got the two small wheat, uh, fields that are got wheat in. So the top of the cotton field and the uh, the, t the top field near the production area. Those are both wheat so we'll get those all done at the same time. And then of course we've got the oats in the other big field. We'll get done after that. Alright so that's in there. Yes it's empty. Nothing in there so we can get the can get started on the wheat field. Once again we'll do that on a time lapse. And we'll see you after it's done. See you later.
Welcome back. As you can see, we've completed the wheat field and we've actually started the the oats field. So we'll just go and empty this out. Wasn't quite a full load, but a reasonable amount. We should still have some left to go into the silo. So we'll just once again fill up the mill. And yeah, still got a little. It's just under 7,000, I think, liters left. I think we're going to get the the miller to uh, or at least the bakery to make um, some spaghetti as well. It's got a di different uh, or an additional product to come out. Make us. Make him and us a little bit of money. Right. Let's get rid of the rest of this into the silo. Let's say get rid of. Let's store the rest of this never get rid of any crop anything that can can make us money he's only got rid of if somebody pays us for it right let's go and fill up the first well let's go and unload the harvester with the first load of oats and off we go again and still on the time lapse we'll see you once we have a full load, or the end of the harvest, whichever comes first. we're back again that's that field done all the oats is in and it's just about a full load not quite but just about so we should get a reasonable little stock of oats in our silo as well 
quite happy with the returns that we've got on those fields and yeah still got a little bit to go into the silo I do love the half season it just is always just I don't know I suppose it's because you can see what you've worked for the whole year so even when I was on a real farm the harvest time was always fantastic so let's get this done or maybe it's just the fact that you have big machines operating you love a big machine yeah right let's just pop this up and then we're pretty much done for the day I'm sure you noticed that in between what we're doing I was con constantly checking up on the on the grass field that has been done and completed and so all in all a highly productive day right so that's full let's have a squiz and see what we have in the silo right there we go so 7.2k wheat 22.8k barley 12.5k oats and yep that should be best in december for sale all of them will be december for sale actually and of course we need to keep some for for the chickens well thank you for watching this episode please like and subscribe while we are cleaning off the trailer looking rather mucky yep we'll get it as clean as possible thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next episode cheerio